Welcome to Tago.io. In this video, it will walk you through building and adding widgets to your dashboard. By the end of the video, your dashboard will look something like this. Before you can start visualizing your data with a dashboard, you will need to configure the devices that will be sending your variables. Note that all data from a device is stored in the device bucket. For this example, I will be adding two custom HTTPS devices and I will use the device emulator to simulate the effect of the device sending data to Tago. The internal monitor device will send variables speed, internal pressure, and water level for the truck, while the second device will send its location. Using the correct JSON format, this will initialize the variables that I can then use to populate the widgets in my dashboard. When I send the location payload, I am also including a field for metadata in which I set the default color to the hexadecimal value for light blue. Now I can start adding widgets. After adding the map widget, I can edit its visualization and change it to dark mode. To display the internal pressure, I can use an angular widget, and for this widget I will choose not to display the variable. Adding an input form allows me to directly add values to my variables through the dashboard. This will be useful in a moment. After rearranging my dashboard, I'm going to go back into my cylinder widget and remove the display variable, and also add a visualization effect. Adding this condition means that if the value of the water level variable rises above 70, the cylinder color will change to red and I can show this using the input form. To get answers to your questions about dashboards, visit our community page linked to in the description and explore our documentation. Thank you for watching.